Hey everyone, welcome back to Intelligent Machines. In today's video, I'm going to show how to create your very own paraphrasing app using the Hugging Face library and Streamlit. Whether you are building apps for research, business or just for fun, this will be a great tool to have. So let's jump right into the video with a quick demo. This will be the interface of the Streamlit app for our paraphraser app. On the left, we have the original text that we will submit. For example, I copied some text from ChatGPT and uh, I'll just press paraphrase. It takes a while, it takes around eight seconds. So I'll just uh, speed, speed it up. And in just five seconds, you can totally paraphrase your sentence. For example, here we have the platform's mission is to democratize AI by making state of the art model accessible to researchers, developers and organization here. The goal of the site is to make AI more accessible to researchers making advanced models available. So yeah, you see uh, there is the paraphrasing app created. It's uh, in fact very simple. In next five minutes, we are going to build this app from scratch. So now let's dive into building this app step by step. Here we are using the Hugging Face Transformers library to load the paraphrasing model and the tokenizer. And a torch here we are using just to operate on the device, which device we want to choose. So we are using the GPU if it's available, else it's fallback to the CPU. So these are the two, uh, the tokenizer of the paraphrasing model and this is the actual model. We created this uh, app, this uh, paraphrase app. This is the definition of the app, this much. And uh, here it starts. So what, what happens? So when you give any sentence, it goes here and there is already a tag given to this model uh, saying paraphrase, paraphrase this uh, sentence. All right. Uh, also, there are two other things like uh, we are using padding to the longest and the maximum length here we are using is 128. That means at one time we can give it a sentence having maximum 128 uh, different words or tokens. After that, uh, after we get our input IDs, this ID will basically give us the corresponding corresponding ID of each word in the sentence in the whatever the vocabulary, vocabulary space they have. And then we just uh, send this ID to the model and in there we pass all the parameters that we started here. So what is this? This number of beams, number of beam group, they, they are given to get more diverse results number of return sequence uh, defines how many number of sequence you like it to return so for each sentence you give to the model it can give you n number of uh, return sequences based on their probability but here we are keeping it one because it basically takes less amount of time to process all right then the reputation penalty and diversity penalty are bo both to increase the diversity of the sentence and not repeat similar words. Finally, whatever the output we get from the model, we pass it through the decoding. Using the deco tokenizer, we decode this output. All right, and we get uh, the results. And the results basically contains uh, all the sentences or the string. So for example, uh, this is our paraphrase app is done. Now we'll pass a random paragraph into it. It's a big, it's a big paragraph. So we'll ask it to paraphrase this. But here there is one problem. You see in this paragraph, there are all, almost nine sentences in this uh, paragraph. But when I give the entire paragraph to it, it gives me only three sentences back. This is because it doesn't paraphrase uh, the paragraph sentence by sentence, but whole paragraph as a whole. Maybe in some cases we don't want that. And we want the model to paraphrase it sentence by sentence. Then comes our next phase. Here we are going to use the NLTK library. If you are uh, using it for the first time, then I advise you to do this NLTK download punctuation tab because the send tokenizer method that we are going to use, it uses this uh, punctuation tab uh, library. What this send tokenize do is it divides our paragraph based on the sentences. So if we have like here nine sentences, it will divide uh, the, the paragraph into nine sentences and give us a list of it. So then what we can do, we can just loop through each of this list and send it to the paraphraser. So in here, 
this paraphraser will uh, do the paraphrasing sentence by sentence and finally it uh, does some post processing by just joining them joining all the values in the list so for example if i print it out you see this is the original one and this is the paraphrased one so here you see hugging face is an innovative ai company here is a hugging face an innovative ai company has emerged as a prominent leader in it but this was all in the notebook but how we can create a web app out of it it's even it's even simpler we have to mostly copy paste so while creating the app we are just going to use the streamlet this is the only additional library which we are going to use except for the one what we have already been using we basically copy this part this whole part and just paste it uh, paste it here this is the our rephrasing function paraphrasing function but this is i rename it saying paraphrase one sentence because i am going to sentence by sentence in my paragraph and uh, rephrasing them sentence by sentence then this is my main function which is paraphrase paragraph so once the paragraph goes into the sent tokenize uh, method and it gives us it divides this paragraph into sentences just like we saw before it goes through our model and finally we get the paraphrased paragraph then we it's time to show them you can ignore this part because this is just uh, some html styling see here it starts so first this will be the title of our paraphrase app then we are going to split the page into two columns on the left and on the right in the left hand side will be our input where the user will give some input and uh, on the right hand side once the button is pressed for the paraphrase it will check if there is any input given by the user if it is given it will paraphrase the input and also i get added some extra functionality to create how, how much time it take to paraphrase this part and it will just write it out that's it as simple as that to run this you just have to do yeah so now it's live and that's it you have just built your very own paraphrasing app using hugging face and stimulant you can expand this by adding more feature or improving the model's performance or you can choose any other model you would like from the hugging face so if you find this tutorial helpful i assume that you will like uh, this video as well see you in the next video